All right, Capricorn, here we go. Soulmate Energies update for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus for July 2022. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here, you found Steve's Love Tarot, you're here for a reason. Let's talk about my pre-shuffle. I asked the universe, give me the soulmate cycle from the angle of Capricorn for July 2022. Some sort of conflict resolution coming your way. Five of Wands crossed by Temperance. There's an energy of whatever conflict you have with someone and, and don't tell me you don't have one because they ran from you you're, unless you're sitting there right now listening to my reading feeling each other up on the couch you got a conflict of some kind it's minor it always was you know maybe they're hanging on to something you said or something that was said maybe you are I don't know forgiveness is a powerful energy and it's for ourselves I suggest it it looks like that's happening with temperance here the angel it's my mechanic angel right there on the car. Some sort of conflict resolution. Um, and I see that here with the Two of Swords as well. And I see it here with the star crossing the Two of Swords. It's time. It's divine timing. It's here. There's a lot of hope around this. And I got the world card. A cycle of conflict is ending. A new cycle is beginning. Somebody's coming towards you here. A long-held wish, long-held manifestation is showing up. Um, under the energy of conflict, but that conflict gets resolved somehow. It's in an effort to resolve the conflict, or the conflict gets resolved before they show up. It could go either way. Okay? Maybe it's the power of forgiveness. Maybe I said that for a reason. Maybe as soon as you forgive, which is for yourself, not for the other person, as soon as you let go, we can't let go until we forgive. It's important to do that, otherwise we hold on to things. I think maybe your person, somebody's learning that with temperance here. One of the most important lessons in the major arcana is temperance in life in general. The major arcana is life. The old tarot is life. It's right here in my hand. All right. Let's shuffle the deck. Let's see where we go. Give me the soulmate cycle from the angle of Capricorn for July 2022 universe. First card out is before the cut. So why the fuck are we here? Let's find out. That was just a pre-shuffle, just me talking to the universe. I show it to you. Why not? Why should not? Okay. Now, we'll find out. Yeah. Death. Transformation. Huge. A whole new energy here. I don't know what it means yet, but it's a whole new energy here. Let's, let's cut the deck. The devil. Conflict. Illusion. Fear. Whatever it is, it's transforming. Toxic energy. Something's toxic around this connection. It's transforming. Or something's toxic around you, Capricorn. And it's transforming. Saying the same thing. That the cut cards should back up my pre-shuffle, and they certainly do. We got those in the right order. Let's see where we go. Let's shuffle the deck one last time. We just soulmate cycle from the angle of Capricorn. For July 2022, give me a reading, universe. Give me a reading. It knows what I mean by that. But boy, does it want me to shuffle still. Holy crap. Usually it doesn't have me shuffle this much. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. A long-held wish, a long-held manifestation is showing up. Mm -hmm. nine, of, nine of cups is our overall energy. Crossing that is the moon. There's things that need to be talked about here. Things that have been carpet swept. There's a lot of love here in the Lightseer deck. See, she a redhead? She's my queen of cups. The most love I can pull from the deck. Also a redhead in this deck. Jean de Water. Right? That's how I read this energy. That's how it reflects to me. The cards reflect differently for every reader. That said, something here, there's a lot that needs to be talked about. And it's all about to come to the surface. She can't hold her breath much longer. Bubbles are coming out. It's showing up. Nine of Cups. You're about to get a wish. Something you wanted. Something you wanted to say. Your chance is coming up. <laughs> I can't predict free will. I can't say for everyone. But that's the energy. That's my job is to read the energy. Reading is on the flip. Right here is the energy around your connection. Right here is how your person's behaving in the 3D. Their emotions. All that stuff. 3D. Right here is 5D. It's their soul. How they feel about you really or just the condition of their soul. Depends how the card falls. 
Right here is the hidden energy, what the universe wants you to know. It's red with the energy of the connection. Right here is the potential final outcome. I say potential because I cannot predict free will, as I said. I don't know what a 3D person is going to do, but I know what this energy is. I know this is minor arcana, which means they could chicken out. I don't know. But I don't think anybody is chickening out here. Not too many, anyway. I don't feel it that way. I'll clarify everything, throw some universe cards at the end. And we'll get you all the information we can. I haven't looked. It's right here. It's prepped. It's ready to go. What's the energy around the connection right now? King of Cups. Somebody's showing up to tell you how they feel. Get something off their chest. It's a cool way to phrase it, I suppose. Get something off their chest. Tell you how they feel. Okay? That's, that's right there. He holds the Ace of Cups. There's a lot of love here. I told you that. I told you that because that's my Queen of Cups. And it's under the water. It's all been pushed down. Probably because of some nonsense. Some conflict. Something that needs to be resolved. Something that needs to be forgiven. Something that needs to be forgiven, forgotten, and walked away from. Before we can move on here. And really, really have this Nine of Cups. Okay? How do they feel in their emotions? How are they behaving in the 3D? Ah, Six of Cups. A lot of thinking back. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? Right? If there's a conflict, if there's something we've held on to, whether it's you or them, roles can be reversed, but I'm reading the incoming energy. It doesn't matter. If there's something we're holding on to, we, we, we haven't forgiven, we won't let it go. Right? We sometimes think back about that. This is them thinking back longingly. Does this really matter? Is this, why, why is this keeping us apart? You know, it's, it's, it's an energy of nostalgia a little bit. Somebody's been doing a lot of thinking here and a lot of feeling along with that thinking. All right, these are cups. I got all cups on the table. Like I told you, that's my poor little queen of cups. My redhead, it's a shame to kill a redhead. Don't drown a redhead. There ain't enough of them in the world for me. That's the most love I can pull from a deck and it's underwater. It's right there. What, how do they feel in the soul? It's, it's bookending the king of cups. There's that devil again. See? There's toxin here that somebody wants to resolve. There's something that needs to be resolved here that's causing this connect. It's keeping you apart. It's exactly how I describe this. They're thinking back, why is this keeping us apart? Why is this this? We need to resolve this. There's a resolve to a conflict coming your way. Somebody wants to set the record straight. Somebody wants to find out if they were right about something. Somebody wants to know if they got it wrong, if they got it right, if whatever, what happened here. I don't know. It could play out a million different ways. What's the universe want to tell us? It's red with the King of Cups. Three of Swords. A lot of pain. Your person is one of the people, and I talk about this in the All Signs readings a lot, that's coming in under the energy of three swords. Okay? Somebody, this needs to be resolved. It's creating toxin in someone's soul. They can't take it anymore. They can't forget it. They don't quite know what to do. They don't know if they're overreacting or underreacting. And, and, their, and their indecision is proof, of, is proof that it needs to be resolved. Usually, if we, if we can resolve things within ourselves without talking to another person, if we say, well, I'm overreacting, and then we just move on. Or maybe I'm just, you know, underreacting, whatever, I can move on. No, they don't know. Their indecision is what's causing some problems here. It's creating an energy of three swords, and that's the energy that they're approaching in. And that's why they're reluctant to share the cups. The King of Cups falling here tells me that, that, that there's something that needs to be resolved for. Something's become, the love has become toxic, so it's held back. There's a, there's, there's a conflict that's going to be resolved here. Someone's showing up under three swords, though. So it might turn into a fight. It can go either way when that happens, like I always say about the three of swords energy. Okay? What's the potential final outcome? The Queen of Swords. We get it straight. The Queen of Swords, it, again, it's about taking TCB, taking care of business, right? I got that Bachman Turner Overdrive song, Taking Care of Business, ringing in my head from back in the 70s, I think that was. It's a nice little guitar riff at the beginning of it. But either way, Queen of Truth, sword in the sheath, let's just talk, right? Sword put away, fancy sandals on, let's just talk. And somebody's been doing a lot of thinking. This is red with the Six of Cups. Doesn't she look like she's thinking to you? Male or female? Right? It's everything I told you just got verified. This is communication when it falls here. For a vast number of you, this person's showing up for reasons I've already told you. 
I think they can't put it down. I think you can't either. Somebody, it, it has to be resolved. It's driving somebody batshit crazy. Right? It's making some, turning somebody into this. Okay? It is. It's become toxic. And because it's become toxic, the universe is saying it's creating, it's generating pain and fear and all kinds of things. Look at old Kurt Cobain there. Look, that's your person. Yeah. There's a conflict that's going to be resolved. Somebody's been doing a lot of thinking about this and they and they just want to get they just want to get it straight. They want to know. It's almost it almost feels like and it's just an example. Please don't run with it. It almost feels like somebody is just just wants to know if they were crazy about this whole thing or not. Or if, you know, if you really meant if something was said in the past and they really and, and it was and they took it the wrong way and it, there's something stupid. Five of wands stupid that's keeping this connection apart. Okay? And it looks like a resolve is coming. We're going to clarify with the little animal deck. Let's see where we go. King of Cups. Why is it here? Tell me about the King of Cups. Let's clarify. It's a nice reading for you, Capricorn. I, I, I don't feel a bad energy here. I feel like somebody's in a lot of pain. There's a conflict here. They can't seem to get it out of their head. They become obsessed with it here in the soul. Deep down in the soul. It's, it's led to obsession. They can't seem to shake it free. So it's time to resolve it. We have to do that. You have to forgive and let things go. There is that energy here. But it's through conversation that it's happening. I know that. For most of you. I can't predict free will. I'm sorry. If you, if, but I don't see how somebody can sit in this. Okay? So I think it's a high number that are coming towards you. King of Cups. Why is it here? Mm, look who's back. It's the moon. Mm -hmm. It's the moon. There's a lot here that's le words left unsaid. Mm. Mm. There's a lot unsaid. I got knights in white satin ringing in my head right now. Letters I've written never meaning to send is the, but I love you. Right? That's the lyric from the song. Letters I've written never meaning to send, but I love you. Hmm. There's a lot here that's left unsaid. It's all about love. It's all about cups. Cups, cups, devil, three swords, queen of swords. See, the resolve is swords and because of pain and devil. But the, the energy here, the overall energy is cups. There's a lot of love here. Plus my drowning queen of cups on the moon from the light seer, which is crossing that nine of cups. So again, it says the same thing. All right? There's words that, love, that are left unsaid are starting to haunt and they're starting to cause some pain here. Actually, I don't believe starting is the word. I believe they have for a long time with the Six of Cups here. What's on top? Transformation. Uh, the Six of Wands. It's a time to open the heart. It's green. That's heart. Transform things. The heart will transform things here. The universe is saying that. There's a chance for victory here. They need it. Somebody needs it. Maybe both of you. What's on? What's, why is this here? Yep, here they come. Knight of Cups. Oh, Knight of Wands. I'm sorry. Well, it feels like a Knight of Cups. That's a Freudian slip. That makes sense. Yeah. Someone's coming in. They're a little nervous. Yeah, they're coming in under three swords. So this is a Knight of Wand Cups. Okay? There's love behind it, but also some apprehension. It's a brave, impulsive action. Right? Get out as fast as they come in. That's what happens when someone comes under the energy of three swords. Six of Cups. Why is it here? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about this. This is their emotions. This is how they're behaving in the 3D. This is what they're doing. Here's a picture of what they're doing. Hmm. Thinking. Maybe I was wrong. I get, an, I get a message of maybe I was wrong in the energy. I just felt that. It's not for everyone. But yeah, it, it is that kind of theme here. Well, maybe you were. Maybe, maybe they were. Maybe they weren't. Time to find out. Only way to know for sure is to ask, right? Six of Cups. Why is it here? The Hangman. New perspective. All this thinking. All this. Look, there's a picture. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Is giving them a new perspective on things. That's the energy around them. The environmental energy. A new perspective. Hmm. Perhaps we should have a conversation. This is getting a little... They're, they're getting very obsessed about this, whatever this is. It's very minor. I think it can be resolved. I don't know. That's just how I feel it. It might be major to them. It seems to be. It's on top. Five. 
As they think back, five of cups, sad horse. Regret. Regret for what happened here. Regret for not getting clarification on something and maybe making an assumption or maybe prejudging and running away. It's just regret. That's all I get. And it's, a, it's, it's on top of the six of cups, the thinking back, thinking back, feeling, feeling back, right? Not just thinking, thinking and feeling. It's a difference. Why well, is the five of cups here? King of swords. Action will be taken. King of swords takes action. And he's holding a rainbow sword, right? Once this is a great horned owl. I'm very familiar with these birds. I had one when I was a boy. I had one when I was 10 years old. He was, he was wounded and we were taking care of him. Um, my dad used to put a mouse down on the pool table. We had a pool table in the basement. He put some plastic on it, put a mouse down. And that owl, once he fixated on that mouse, he was going. That poor little mouse. I mean, that's what they eat. You might think it's cruel, but it's what they eat. And, and man, he'd always get him. He'd always get him. He was, once he got set to go, he was going. Uh, and this, this is the energy I get off this. I don't talk about anything that's not in the energy. I don't share a story. I don't make a joke. Nothing. That's in the energy. There's determination here. Steely-eyed determination. You're the mouse on the table and they're coming to get it. One way or another because it's too much. It's too much regret as they think back. You know, am I overreacting? Am I, is this, did it really play out this way? Did it have to play out this way? Why did it play out this way? I mean, all of that is in the energy. There's too many people watching for me to pinpoint it, but you catch my drift, right? Why is the devil here? Let's talk about the devil and the soul. And I've explained it already, but let's see what the, in, uh, the affecting energy around it is. What's the environmental energy around this devil here? Let's see. Let's see. Why is the devil here? Yeah. The two of Pentacles. That wishy-washiness, the devil is almost a tower energy in a lot of ways. It's that wishy-washiness. Someone's made a decision to resolve this because it hurts. It hurts in the soul to have the devil there. It always does. What's on top? Ten Pentacles. Um, hmm. Another card that doesn't belong in the soul, per se. It's someone who needs to fix this. It's it just makes sense to them to fix it. This Ten of Pentacles is directly bookending this Six of Wands here. Okay? Someone knows that there's something very special here between you two. And what's getting in the way is a lot of pain, a lot of misunderstanding, something that needs to be resolved. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Six of Pentacles. And in order to do that, they need to give to something. And they're a little bit worried about giving to it. That devil in the soul creates fear. Fear doesn't belong in the soul. The soul has no fear. So what's happening is this person is has been afraid to approach you for various reasons. They're not afraid anymore. I know that with the King of Swords. This is 3D energy. It's right there in that position in my reading. Somebody wants to give to this because there is a rainbow here. There's, there's Ten of Pentacles potential. Ten of Pentacles is better than the Ten of Cups. It's all of it. It's the whole package. There is a chance for victory here if we can just we can work it out right <laughs> that Beatles song we can work it out right here the uh, three of swords the universe wants to talk about three swords why let's find out why is the three of swords here okay ace of pentacles crossing the three swords um, it's a it's a persistent energy I want to say that I want to say that it's Someone who wants to, who really sees the value in fixing this here, but again, it, they're worried, the fear in part comes from they're worried that it's not practical to talk to you. How do I phrase that so it makes sense? Uh, I, I got to give you some sort of an analogy on that. Um, it's almost like a lot of, it, it, just in, as an example, okay? It might apply to you, it might not, but you can apply it. It's almost like a lot of time has passed because this is very slow energy, the slowest than the tarot, grandma on the freeway at 15 miles an hour, and they're trying to figure out, it causes them a lot of pain because they want to resolve this, and they're trying to figure out if it's even prudent to reach out. How, how, what would I say? How would I reach out? It's, it's slowing them down a little bit, and, it, and in the process, it's creating disappointment and pain because they want to talk, because this devil hurts when it's in the soul, and all this thinking back is causing regret. So they need to do something about it. It looks like they are. You know, might be from a cold, detached perspective. It could be. 
okay, because they don't want to get hurt. And they're not even sure if they can reach out. For some of you, what's on top? Ten cups. Just, just mention that with the Ten of Pentacles. And there it is. Ten cups. Again, if we, talk, if we talk from the heart, the energy is transformed here. This devil energy we already know from the cut position has transformed. And what we have here is there's, there's a chance at the rainbow. This is the rainbow that this owl's coming to get. Right? This is the mouse on the table, on the pool table. It's right there. I believe they're coming to get it. This is what's driving them to do it, is the chance that, that they could fix this. Okay? Why is the Ten of Cups here? The Hierophant. They feel this on a very, very, very high level. This is affecting this person. Your connection is causing this person to question their own spirituality, their own existence, everything. They want something long-term here. They want to be happy. But they also know, are wondering whether it's even prudent to try. Which again is, the Three of Swords always brings people in. It ends the separation phase in the soulmate cycle. I tell you that many times. So does the Five of Cups. We have both. Okay? But more importantly, we have the more powerful of the two here from the message from the universe. This is a very, very important connection to this person. Don't underestimate your impact on this person. Okay? It's very strong. It's very strong. And that's what's driving them to come towards you. It's pushing past the, well, is it prudent? Should I? A lot of time has passed. Maybe. I don't know. No, no, no. They push past that. Why is the Queen of Swords here? What's the final final on this? Tell me about it. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Why is it here? A hermit. Lots of stuff coming to light for this person. Lots of inner wisdom. This person has changed since you first crossed paths. They're different. I saw that with the Hierophant, but I see it here with the Hermit. They've changed. Things have changed. The energy has changed. Everything's changed. Their life may have changed. It's causing them to get a with the uh, hangman crossing here that was a new perspective, right? It's causing them to reflect back, realize their mistakes, and want to fix those mistakes. That's what happens when we're wise. Wise hermits fix things. Wise hermits give you advice like, oh, I don't know, forgiveness is the only way you can let things go. Oh, somebody said that. Who said that? I think his name was Steve. He has a tarot channel, I think. Anyway, your person is, is there. They, they're awakened for sure. I feel that. I have a lot of respect for this energy, actually. What's on top? Oh my God, speaking of respect, the Queen of Pentacles. They regret what happened in the past with you because they may have prejudged you. They, uh, they have a lot of respect for you. A lot. That's one of the things they're figuring out here. That's why the sword is put away. They have a lot of respect for you. This card is, this Queen of Pentacles is red with the uh, Five of Pentacles. They're reflecting as Five of Pentacles. You're reflecting as Queen of Pentacles. Uh, or excuse me, they're reflecting, well, it doesn't matter. Freudian slip, same difference. They're out in the cold, right? They're reflecting as Five Cups. Disappointed. Sadness. Regretting as they think back. Because they let something go that's pretty special, pretty awesome. Yeah. Uh, why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Eight of Wands. Come on. That's communication. It's minor arcana. It's up to their free will. But I believe most of them are coming in. This is communication. The final final in this reading is the Eight of Wands. You're the only sign to get it. As the final final. It's communication. It's red with the King of Swords. That King of Swords I told you about that always got that mouse on that pool table. My dad had put that thing down and he'd get all prepped. Right? Start moving his feet around, looking at it, bobbing his head back and forth, looking right at it. He's going. This tells me that a high percentage of these people are coming in. You're the mouse. And they're, the, they're the great horned owl. They're coming to fix this. Because they're living in regret. they got devil in the soul. Somebody made a mistake here. And, and when they woke up, spirit, this is what happens in these soulmate cycles. The runner runs. Right? I'll sum it up for you. The runner runs because they, you know, whatever reason. Who cares? The runner runs. And then they wake up, they realize as this connection sets in, the connection grows the further they run. That's how these deep soul twin flame connections work. You can, you can run, but you can't hide. So the connection grew, they woke up spiritually, they realized what they did, and they, they feel sad about it, and it starts to eat away at them. 
And then when it gets to a point of three swords, that's why the three swords is the main card that ends the separation phase. The universe is telling us it went from the devil in the soul to the three swords. The three swords causes what? Communication. Once it gets there. Because it builds and it builds and it builds and the what ifs. And nobody wants to live with what ifs. It's minor arcana, the Eight of Wands. It is up to their free will. I can't say 100% of you are going to hear from your person. But this, our, your reading ends with communication from a great horned owl. It's nice. It's a nice fucking reading. And it's good. It offers some closure, I'm sure, at the very least. But there's something that needs to be cleared up here. I'm going to pull three cards from the universe, see what else the universe wants to tell you. Give me three cards, universe, and a crossing card. What else you want to tell Capricorn before we go? What else you want to say? Anything? Maybe it wants to say nothing. Maybe I pull three blank cards. I don't, even, I don't even know that there are blank cards in here. But maybe I do. I'm not. Uh, ten Pentacles. The Moon. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, they're worried about what they're going to say and judgment. They're coming. Uh, my story about the Great Horned Owl I had when I was a kid. We named him Hooter. Um, who, uh, he's real inventive, I know. Uh, who... Hey, come on, I called my, my tarot channel Steve's Love Tarot. You know, it's not much better than Hooter the Owl. But to be honest with you, they're showing up. They are that owl, there's no doubt. Um, I, they are, you are that mouse. Judgment, somebody from the past wants a second chance here to fix this. There's my Queen of Cups underwater again. There she is, the moon coming back as the baseline card from the universe. A lot of love underneath here. Somebody's realized your value. They want a second chance. There's that Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is here. It's the rainbow that they're after. The page is probably how they show up. Page of Pentacles. It is communication. It is in your face. It is right there, 3D in real life. Right? But it is someone who's cautious. They are worried. Well, I said that with the uh, Ace of Pentacles that was here. They're worried that maybe, you know, I mean, is it even prudent to reach out? I mean, what would I say? It's so much, you know, could be a lot of time has passed with that page of pen, with that uh, Ace of Pentacles there. I don't know. It depends. And time is relative anyway. There's no time in the universe. A lot of time passing can be three days, right? You know, there's that three-day rule, right, that guys live by for first dates. You don't call them for three days. Well, that's, that's true. A lot of guys live by that. But if you wait four days, that's too much time has passed. They're pissed at you at that point. You know, I hugged you, I kissed you, I thought we had a nice evening. You wait four days to call me, fuck you. You know, so time is, too much time, quote unquote, is relative. Because there's no time in the energy. It's going to vary for all of you. I don't know. But it, it looks like they're showing up for most of you. It's very clear here. What's under this judgment, just for fun? Oh, look. Coming to smooth things out, the Six of Swords. How about that? Backing up our whole reading, crossing judgment. That's why they're coming. That's the second chance they want. They want to make something right. They want to smooth things out. They want to tell you how they feel. Whatever the conflict is, whatever they may have misunderstood, this is a changed person. It's a changed energy. We saw it with the death card. You know? Re -watch, I would rewatch this reading a couple of times. I truly would. It's a very important reading for you. All right? That's your reading, Capricorn. I hope it was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. Good luck, Capricorn.